Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's from Yemen. I want to introduce to you the leader of that rebellion who is now present and is a part of the government, Mr. Luis Tarok. It was leftist. They were friends of mine. One of the first reforms was land reform. And I said, look, I'm going to establish land reform. Now, um, we established uh, land reform. We were fighting a group known as the Hukbalahap. Hukbung nagpapalaya ng bayan. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, they were friends of mine. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expounded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. We are united in one. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's from Yemen. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. Kabataang makabayan. And that's the reason why I raise my fist, because I am a member of Bayan. Bayan has always been my political party, but I am not a member of the Communist Party of the Philippines. I do not agree. They're too far left. I do not agree with the armed struggle and the killing of Filipinos. Magpatayan lang tayo kanya-kanyang ating bayan. I am really a socialist. Eh, yung iba naman pumapalag. Kaya mainit. Why is it that, that there's so much killing during political exercises? Why do you think people kill the guys on the other side? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Yemen. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. There may, have been a, there may be a difference in ideology and approach, but we are united in one. We are united in one. It was leftist. They were friends of mine. Tell the president, I said, what he has done to me, I have already forgiven and I have already forgotten. I have no bitterness against Mr. Marcos. I have no rancor against Mr. Marcos. All I want to do is to help our people stop this bloodshed. Because we had fought in the, uh, in the Second World War together. And uh, so I approached them and I said, look, I'm going to stop this land reform. If you are fighting for land reform against the feudalistic agrarian uh, system, then you must join me. And they did. I want to introduce to you the leader of that rebellion who is now present and is a part of the government, Mr. Luis Tarok. I want to introduce to you the leader of that rebellion, who is now present and is a part of the government, Mr. Luis Tarok. It was leftist. They were friends of mine. In, there may be a difference in ideology and approach, but we are united in one. We are united in one. When you have activists like Luis Tarok and uh, um, Jerry Montemayor and Nilo Tayag and these men who were ready to kill the president, uh, but who now sees that the reforms that are being instituted are for the good and welfare of the country, you don't. One of the first reforms was land reform. The leader of that rebellion who is now present and is a part of the government. It was leftist. They were friends of mine. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Kaya mainit. Why is it that, that there's so much killing during political exercises? Why do you think people kill the guys on the other side? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Yemen. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is... Ang lolo ko, Chinese. 
Yan ang ugali ng check. It's from Xiamen. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Mitsuhin ako na pure Chinese. Mga hot brother. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Frank Siamen. So kung magtanong kayo, anong tribo mo, Duterte? Si Buano. Nakatira ka ba doon? Hindi. Bakasyon lang. <laughs> May kilala ka sa dana. Wala rin. Kasi nakatira ako sa Dabaw. Doon ako lumaki. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. And that's the reason why I raised my fist because I am a member of Bayan. Pero Bob, ang, I, I'm, kami doon sa, besides nga, we grew up in the neighborhood. Mix kami lahat. No tribe can claim dominance there. Because I am a member of Bayan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, Frank Siamen. You know why? Uh, hinahabol ko yung mga the 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 plus point of our uh, generation. Nandoon kasi yung mga Lava Brothers nandoon yung season and teaching also was uh, si David Lapos. I guess I was really out for something. You know, I became a radical because I come from the <laughs> Uh Would you believe it? The subject that Maria Sison was, te was, was teaching us was political thought. And that's why he contaminated us early on. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. Makabayan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Frank Yamin. And that's the reason why I raise my fist, because I am a member of Bayan. And that's the reason why I raise my fist, because I am a member of Bayan. Bayan has always been my political party, but I am not a member of the Communist Party of the Philippines. I do not agree. They're too far left. I don't agree with the armed struggle and the killing of Filipinos. Magpatayan lang tayo kanya-kanyang ating bayan. I am really a socialist. Eh, yung iba naman pumapalag. Now, I'm testing really the water sa radicalism. As if I am irreverent. Pag sinabi ng mga politiko, dito tayo ha? Opo, congressman. O dito tayo. Opo, dito tayo ngayon. Yes, sir. Bahala ka, sir. No. And they want to do governance in accordance with their interest. That's how it is. Noon pa, ganun talaga. Ang... Maliliman lang yan. And this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind. I've been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Rosario's great-grandfather, by the name of uh, Ke Kena, lived in Kyongye village in Xinjiang, Fujian. I want this formula. Wherever you are, it's always changing. Geography is changing. Not the, phys the physical movement, but geography and politics and the mass of exchanges all the time. Gusto ninyo, gawain na namin yung kaming province, Fujian, pati Philippine province of China. Di ba tayong problema? Province of uh, Philippines, Republic of China. The nearest is Fujian. I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said, we should lead the lives, the Communist Party of the Philippines, and give them exactly the same forum to expand on their ideas. And once they've expanded their ideas, and the Filipino people should help them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I do not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. We are united in one.
After President Duterte took office, our two sides have worked together to remove any many obstacles. Our relationship has been turned around and put on the right trajectory. I commend the President for taking on Jose Rizal's mantle and for his commitment to the independent Philippines. Earlier today, the President and I agreed to elevate our relationship to one of comprehensive strategic cooperation. This decision, which will mark a new milestone in our relations, speaks to our shared determination to be good friends and good neighbors. We are truly pleased with this decision. And to be true to our founding fathers. In China, we have a saying, a single chopstick can be easily broken. With 10 of them tightly bundled, they can withstand much more damage. We are united in one. I know you have a similar proverb. A broom is sturdy because its strands are tightly bound. In that spirit, let us unite as one and create a better tomorrow for both of our countries. Let us unite as one. Malili Wan Langan and this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind. Why? Because we are fundamentally a feudal country. Kaya mainit. Why is it that, that there's so much killing during political exercises? Why do you think people kill the guys on the other side? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Xiamen. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. What relationship does the UNIDO party have to the National Democratic Front who has played a central role in arguing the Filipino arguing the Filipino people's case against the Marcos dictatorship and who presently has a base of support of over 10 million. I do not know the actual relationship today between the United Democratic Opposition in the Philippines and the National Democratic Front. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. There may, have been a, there may be a difference in ideology and approach. But we are united in one. We are united against the dictatorship. My position is very clear. If we will succeed in overthrowing the dictatorship, we should allow every voice and every idea to ventilate their views in the public market. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expounded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. But it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endorse. I belong to the left. Walang masama sa left. And I belong to the left. They are not a member of the ruling elite. It's from Yemen. Stay out. I ako wala akong partido but I choose PDP. Because PDP is actually left-leaning. As a matter of fact, the PDP guys take their off of both with the left hand and shake with the left hand. Ganon ang ano ni Pimentel. Pimentel is a, parang ganon din, but not so. Kami yung sumunod mga radical. I started with Bayan. And I did well. And Chinese. From Yemen. Ako si Mr. Rio. Ang lolo ko, 
Chinese, the billionaires here, the family, the elite. It's from Shaman. From Shaman, China. So, nagsisinungaling ka. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's from Shaman. Most of us are really almost of uh, Chinese uh, ancestry. We love our country and we love the people. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. Ang lolo ko Chinese, my Chinese wife doon, yung Chinese second wife dito. I am a member of Bayan. Kay Rizal, ikinumpara si Duterte, nuri pa ni si si Duterte. Who is this stupid guy? Stupid yung talaga itong putang ang hanggang yun. What do you want me to do? Shoot the Moro or shoot the Christian? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Siamin. I am a member of Bayan. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. One of the first reforms was land reform. Do not believe the others because they are not my friends. They are my political enemies. They say, I do not believe in God. Who says? I am a believer of a universal mind. But uh, I do not believe in God. I do not believe that a God so perfect would create hell for his creation. What kind of God is he? He is not my God. What kind of God is he? He is not my God. There is a time to, for everything. A time to negotiate and a time to quarrel. With your enemy, with your uh, political opponents, with your wife. That is why uh, some lives here are uh, and a time to antagonize, and a time to make peace, and a time to go to war, and a time to live, and a time to die. Who is this stupid guy? Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Siamen. Chinese, from Siamen. Now, I'm testing really the water's uh, radicalism. As if I am irreverent. Pag sinabi ng mga politiko, dito tayo, ha? Opo, congressman. O dito tayo. Opo. Dito tayo ngayon. Yes, sir. Bahala ka, sir. No. And you want to do governance in accordance with their interest. That's how it is. Noon pa, ganun talaga ang... Maliliban lang yan. And this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind.
President Duterte took office, our two sides have worked together to remove any many obstacles. Our relationship has been turned around and put on the right trajectory. I commend the President for taking on Jose Rizal's mantle and for his commitment to the independent Philippines. Earlier today, the President and I agreed to elevate our relationship to one of comprehensive strategic cooperation. This decision, which will mark a new milestone in our relations, speaks to our shared determination to be good friends and good neighbors. We are truly pleased with this decision. And to be true to our founding fathers. In China, we have a saying, a single chopstick can be easily broken. With 10 of them tightly bundled, they can withstand much more damage. We are united in one. I know you have a similar proverb. A broom is sturdy because its strands are tightly bound. In that spirit, let us unite as one and create a better tomorrow for both of our countries. Let us unite as one. Malili Wan lang yan, and this elite, you know, they, they, they want uh, to chart the history of our country in their eyes, in their mind. Why? Because we are fundamentally a feudal country. What relationship does the UNIDO party have to the National Democratic Front, who has played a central role in arguing the Filipino? Arguing the Filipino people's case against the Marcos dictatorship, and who presently has a base of support of over 10 million. I do not know the actual relationship today between the United Democratic Opposition in the Philippines and the National Democratic Front. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. There may, have been a di there may be a difference in ideology and approach, but we are united in one. We are united against the dictatorship. My position is very clear. If we will succeed in overthrowing the dictatorship, we should allow every voice and every idea to ventilate their views in the public market. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expounded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. But it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endorse. I belong to the left. Walang masama sa left. And I belong to the left. We are not a member of the ruling elite. It's from Shannon. Stay out. I ako wala akong partido but I choose PDP. Because PDP is actually left leaning. As a matter of fact, the PDP guys take their off of both with the left hand and shake with the left hand. Ganon ang ano ni Pimentel. Pimentel is in, parang ganon din, but not so. Kami yung sumunod mga radical. I started with Bayan. And I did well. I'm Chinese. Walang masama sa left. France Yamin. Ako po si Mr. Rio. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. The billionaires here, the family, the elite. It's France Yamin. France Yamin, China. So, nagsisinungaling ka. Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's France Yamin. Most of us are, really. Almost of uh, Chinese... Uh, Ancestry, we love our country, and we love the people. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. One of the first reforms was land reform. Ang lolo ko... It's against the ruling system, di ba? Pero the NDF is pleased, no? It's pleased that all the major candidates are for the continuation of the peace negotiations. Si Duterte naman, na dati kong estudyante sa Lyceum, <laughs> uh, she has very many nice things to say about me and I, 
I also have many, uh, many nice things to say about him, you know. Duterte, maluwag yung bunga nga. Uh, sabi niya, yung kapag akong presidente, isang paan ng NPA nasa malakad lang na. You know? Ready for coalition. Pero may sasabihin, uh, another time sasabihin, kailangan mag gano'n sila, mag disarma. Uh, otherwise, ano, uh, kak kakalabanin niya. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA because uh, he uh, outrages the people, he abuses the people, so more people join the Communist Party. Duterte is the best recruiter of the CPP and the NPA. Mabuhay ang NPA! Mabuhay! Mabuhay si Duterte! Mabuhay! I am a member of Bayan. Tell the President I said, what he has done to me, I have already forgiven. And I have already forgotten. I have no bitterness against Mr. Marcos. I have no rancor against Mr. Marcos. All I want to do is to help our people stop this bloodshed. So please tell the President I said, I have a formula. In two days, I said, I will be sending him a formula. And I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos, and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And this is a possible breakthrough. What did Mr. Marcos do? What did Mr. Marcos do? Shall I tell you that uh, we almost turned communists because you refused to recognize us? Shall I tell you that... Uh, I had a difficult time stopping my guerrillas, 25,000 of them from joining the communists. We should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. By a constitutional mandate, social justice is a matter of national policy and a priority objective of government. And this is why one of the first reforms was land reform. Ang lolo ko Chinese. Yan ang ugali ng check. It's from Yamin. Do not believe the others because they are not my friends. They are my political enemies. They say I do not believe in God. Who says? I am a believer of a universal mind. But uh, I do not believe in God. I do not believe that a God so perfect would create hell for his creation. What kind of God is he? He is not my God. What kind of God is he? He is not my God. There is a time to, for everything. A time to negotiate and a time to quarrel with your enemy, with your uh, political opponents with your wife. That is why uh, some lives here are uh, and a time to antagonize and a time to make peace and a time to go to war and a time to live and a time to die. Who is this stupid gun? Ang lolo ko, Chinese. Franz Yamin. Chinese. Franz Yamin.
Now, um, we established uh, land reform. We were fighting a group known as the Hukbalahap, Hukbung Nagpapalaya ng Bayan. It was socialist inclined. It was leftist. But uh, they were friends of mine. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si, si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. And will I realign myself in your ideological flow and maybe I will also go to Russia to talk to Putin and tell him that uh, there are three of us against the world. China, Philippines, and Russia. It's the only way. I wrote this formula. I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. Sa state banquet, pinuri pa ni si si Duterte at ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. At ikinumpara siya kay Rizal. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Xiamen. And we became the first kabataang makabayan. We are, we are very excited uh, with our visit today. And um, I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. Uh, I heard that uh, my grandfather was a I have been told, for instance, that uh, our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal's great-grandfather by the name of uh, Ke Kenan, lived in Kyongge village in Xinjiang, Fujian. I wrote this formula. Wherever you are, it's always changing. Geography is changing. Not the phys physical movement, but geography and politics, international politics, changes all the time. Gusto ninyo, gawain na lang ninyo kaming province, Fujian, pati Philippine province of China. Di wala tayong problema. Oh, province of uh, Philippines, uh, Republic of China. <laughs> the nearest is Fujian. I wrote this formula, a secret formula I sent to Mr. Marcos and I said, we should legalize the Communist Party of the Philippines and give them exactly the same forum to expound on their ideas. And once they've expanded their ideas and the Filipino people should opt them, then I think we should, in the spirit of democracy, accept majority rule. I will not accept a dictatorship of the right, much less will I accept a dictatorship of the left. We are united in one, but it should be the Filipino people in the ultimate sense who will judge which ideology and which cause that they should endure. The Communist Party of the Philippines was established on December 26, 1968, as the Marxist-Leninist vanguard party of the working class. This party is supposed to be the standard bearer of the working class, which is that class that is the most progressive, productive, and political force in the Philippines. It is true that a minority class, especially only the party which represents it cannot win the, rep the Philippine Revolution all by itself. At any rate, even while there are the forces of armed revolution, there are the legal democratic forces in the Philippines. The biggest of these is Bagong Aliansang 
Makabay, Makabayan, or Bayan in short. I am a member of Bayan. Ang lolo ko, Chinese, from Siamin. And we became the first Kabataang Makabayan. Kabataang Makabayan. It has a membership of more than 2 million members in more than 1,000 member organizations. Its uh, biggest component organizations are Kilusang Mayo Uno, which is the labor center, the Pambansang Kilusang Magbubukid, which is the, or the Kilusang Magbubukid ng Pilipinas, or KMP, Gabriela, the Women's Alliance, League of Filipino Students, Alliance of Concerned Teachers, Cadena, and so on. As I have earlier pointed out, Partido ng Bayan, founded last uh, August 30 and 31, was an outgrowth of Bayan, the big coalition. I've said in many of my writings that the National Democratic Front, especially its militant arm, the New People's Army, has been instrumental in many social changes in our country. Kaya pumunta ako ng China. But you know, I have been uh, mayor of Davao City for the last 23 years. I ako wala akong partido, but I choose PDP. Because PDP is actually left-leaning. As a matter of fact, the PDP guys take their oath of office with the left hand and shake with the left hand. Ganon ang ano ni Pimentel. Pimentel is a, parang ganon rin, but not so. Kami yung sumunod mga radical. I started with Bayan. And I did well. Oh, for the reason that I was elected, I said, in 1988, and it's now 2016, and I'm still the mayor of Davao City. If I make it, God willing, to the presidency, I will be the first left president in this country. And that's the reason why I raise my fist, because I am a member of Bayan. I am a member of Bayan.